have been cleaning my clothes out, which is like the never ending chore of my life at the moment. I, um, so one thing I did, like this is my drawer of jeans. I kind of just organized them a little bit, but, um, I need to try a bunch on. And then I also, I'm trying to take out, like, start the process of weeding out the really summery stuff that I know, like, I'm not going to wear in the near future. And then I'm also trying to separate, like, so far, these are the things, <laughs> look at this very large pile. These are the things that I so far think I want to bring to New York for my first round of a couple months there. And then these are the things that I'm not going to bring at this point. And I basically have taken all this stuff from a variety of places. But, like, usually this is where I keep my longer, like, dresses and longer jackets. But I've taken some stuff out of, like, my blouses. And then I have to do something similar like on the jacket front like for example and the pants like for example I know I want to bring these Dries Van Noten pants because I haven't even worn them yet I know I want to bring this Balmain jacket um oh I love this who is this jacket by Airdem I know I want to bring this Airdem jacket so um I need to go through this section and for example this is a suit I think it's rag and bone and I almost got rid of it at one point because I'm like I don't really wear suits but I need to try it on because I think this will be good like it could be a good interview suit um yeah so anyway that's like what I've been up to so far this Monday morning I went out for a walk I'm still in my like athletic apparel and I'm going to um bathe and then I also have to do, um, this is my t-shirt drawer. You can see it over, it's overflowing. It overfloweth. <laughs> so I need to go through, so I need to go through this and I do need to finish going through my jeans. Um, cause I just organized them a little, but I want to try on some, Ugh, all the stuff on the news about the hurricane. Many of you, by the way, and thank you for this, many of you commented, you know, with well wishes for my family in Florida. As I think most of you know, both my mother and my father are there. My mother is um, on Longboat Key, which is a little barrier island off of Sarasota, and my dad is in West Palm. And, and you know, initially the forecast was such that the hurricane was going to really more go up the East Coast. So my dad and his wife drove up to South Carolina last week where her, my, her, Susan, my dad's wife, where her brother lives. And then there were worries that the, you know, the hurricane was going to make its way up that way. So they went up to Virginia where her kids are. Um, so they're safe and sound. And as it turns out, I mean, it wouldn't have been pleasant in West Palm Beach, but it didn't really get the worst of it. And then my mother, Longboat Key, was under mandatory evacuation. And so thank God she has a really good friend in Sarasota whose house is like a bunker. Like, you know, hurricane shutters, hurricane glass, generator. So my mother, she's still there, but she said, I mean, it's almost like they were having a little party. Uh, you know, as we were texting back and forth, she's like, oh, I'm having a vodka cocktail. My mother doesn't drink vodka, but okay. But she's like, you know, the air conditioner's on, you know, we have electricity. It's really, you know, she's like, we're so grateful that um, her friend Gigi took them in. And I'm so grateful to her friend Gigi as well, because I was really worried about her. Because by the time the path changed to the west coast of Florida, like, it was kind of too late to really do anything. There were no hotels. I mean, the roads were already jammed. You couldn't really get gas. So I'm just grateful my parents are safe. So anyway, that's a total aside, which came on because I've got the telly on and um, I saw some bits on the news. Anyway, so I think that's it. I'm going to get in the shower. And I might run out and do a few things. I actually want to go to Louis Vuitton because I... So you know I bought that Saint Laurent... Well, you might not know this yet because I don't think I posted it. But by the time this goes up, you'll know. So I bought a Saint Laurent bag at net a -Porte, A gray mock croc one that was super cute. But the functionally, it just didn't work for me, so I sent it back. And then I was like, why do I need a little gray bag like that when I have a gray boy bag? 
The one thing though that I don't like about the boy bag is there's no internal, or other than one zipper pocket, there's no real internal organization in that bag. And so I thought if I could get a small little Louis Vuitton, like a small cosmetic case, that I could like throw a few things in to kind of make it easier. The, the cosmetic case I have is too big for that bag, but I know there's a really small one. And I also pared down my wallet. Like, you know, in my wallet I was carrying, every hospital locally you have to have a hospital card, and I have doctors at three different hospitals. So I like literally just took pictures of those cards, so I'll have them on my phone. I'm like, nobody really needs a physical card. You know, stuff I was carrying around that I'm like, I don't need all this crap. So anyway, does anybody care? <laughs> And I got my nails done yesterday. This is the Essie Gel Couture in the color is called Model Clicks. You know, it's one of those vampy dark red brown colors, which I really like. Um, okay, and I will see you soon.
Okay. I'm watching the view. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup and my hair, and I wanted to show you the outfit because this is a St. John jacket that I was thinking of selling, but a bunch of you guys told me to keep it, so I thought I would wear it for today. Um, so it's the St. John jacket just with a t-shirt, my Gucci belt, these 3 by one jeans, and um, the Chanel flats. You're going to be the one administering lie detectors tests? Are you going to administer it to yourself? So, um, I think I'm going to... See, I still need to finish cleaning in here. But I think what I'll do is run out and do a couple errands and then come back and clean later this afternoon. And I also need to decide, like, what am I doing for dinner? Do I want to go out? Or do I want to get something to make in? I was thinking I might go to Italy and get a rotisserie chicken. Um, but anyway, you'll see. Bye. One other thing I meant to mention is that this weekend I watched... Um, oh, what is that called? Hold on. Oh, it's called... I watched this show called The Bold Type. I watched it all on my computer. I really don't even know the channel that it's available on. But it's really cute. If you want like a total girly, like, eh, Sex in the City-ish, but for 20-something, like young, like right at like just starting working 20-something girls with really cute clothes, um, I'm really liking it so far and I wanted to mention that to you. I didn't want to forget. And I'm wearing this lipstick I just put on is Bobbi Brown Pink Cloud. Um, there. So, um, that's it. Mistral. I had the tuna tartare, which is my favorite anywhere. And they have an appetizer, a little crab ravioli, which is delicious. And I wasn't going to get the bread. But then the sauce of the crab ravioli is so good that I needed the bread to sop it up. So I'm now on my way home. I was out today running around. I was actually quite productive. I talked to a headhunter. I did a bunch of paperwork for hopefully this apartment I'm gonna be renting in New York. You know, given I'm renting an apartment for two months short term furnished, and I've already prepaid the ridiculous, like ridiculous amount of rent, I can't even believe they need this paperwork. It's really annoying. But I went to the Louis Vuitton store, as I mentioned earlier, and I, um, they didn't really have the cosmetic pouch that I wanted to look at. If I can, I'll like pop it up here. And then I also wanted to look at like a small wallet. And the ones they had, I will also pop it up here if I can, but the ones they had, like I liked the functionality of it, but I didn't like the, like it was either the, um, the LV monogram or the Damier, 
but then it was like like a color in between and then the snap was like the same color and I didn't really like that but I really like the functionality and then I happened unexpectedly into the Dior store because the Dior store near me has been under renovations for some time so they used to have a small space and then they took over like a larger space but it took them a while to do the build out and as I walked by today I mean the security guard even knows me in there it's really sad but I walked by I like waved at him but I saw that the whole thing was open so I went back he's like oh you're gonna come in I'm like yeah but the result of that was there were a couple gray handbags I really liked I took pictures I will also put them in here but one was like, I don't know the name of it. It's like one of the ladies you are types, but it's the newer, softer version in like this platinum. And then there's this other bag that's like a gray. It really wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I just really liked it. So we'll see. The other thing I should say is, so this is a whole new, like I really did my whole, not my whole day, but I did a lot of my day today. So you'll have to let me know your thoughts on this format. <laughs> I can't do this all the time, but today I did it. So I'll be interested in your feedback. <laughs> Good night.